Hello students, welcome to Show Observer Classes. This is Professor Himadri Dada. So in today's lecture, we'll be solving question number 8 from MS Kiwi PEB 2017. So we'll be solving from MS Kiwi PEB 2017, the question number 8. So the question number 8 goes like this. A monopolist faces a demand curve P equals to 10 minus Q. So we'll write down the demand curve first. So it is given the demand curve is given by p equals to 10 minus q now it has two plants at its disposal the cost of producing q1 in the first plant is this so the cost of production for q1 is given by this so the c q1 is given by 300 plus q1 star now if q1 equals to zero so here what we'll do is We'll write down Q1 is equals to 0 when Q1 is equals to. So when Q1 is greater than 0, we get the cost function to be like this. Now when Q1 is, Q2 is greater than 0, we find the cost function to be CQ2 equals to 200 plus Q2 square where Q2 is greater than 0 otherwise it is zero similarly here as also the cost function becomes zero otherwise otherwise as in when q1 is not greater than zero similarly here when q2 is not greater than zero so now the question is given what are the optimal production levels in two plants so we have to find q1 and q2 so for this we have to find q1 and q2 so we have to find q1 and q2 so there are four options given 10 units in both both plants 20 units is first plant and 10 units in second plant 0 units in first plant and 15 units in second plant and none of the above so we will find the optimum value of q1 and q2 So for this, first we'll write down the profit function. The profit function goes like this. It is 10 minus Q1 minus Q2 into, this is price. If you remember, the price was given by P equals to 10 minus Q. So Q could be written as Q1 plus Q2. So then it becomes the price becomes 10 minus Q1 minus Q2. Now we know profit is nothing but total revenue minus total cost. So this is price. So price into quantity is total revenue. So instead of Q, capital Q, we can write Q1 plus Q2. So instead of capital Q, we can write Q1 plus Q2. Here we can write this instead of capital Q and now we'll write down the cost functions which are given by 300 for the form 1 300 minus Q1 square when Q1 is greater than 0 and for form 2 it is 200 plus Q2 square which will become minus Q2 square here. So this is nothing but total revenue minus total cost. So this is the profit function we have formed the profit function. Now, if you solve the profit function, we will get, if you multiply Q1 with this entire thing, you will get it to be 10Q1 plus 10Q2 minus Q1 square minus Q1, Q2 minus Q2, Q1 minus Q2 square minus 300 minus Q1 square minus 200. minus 200 minus q square so we have found if you solve this equation you will get the value to be like this now 
as we have formed the profit equation now we have to differentiate this profit equation with respect to q1 and q2 first we'll simplify this profit equation if you solve this profit equation if you simplify it now here there is q1 square there is q1 if you simplify it this way so you'll get the value to be equals to 10 minus 4q1 minus 2q2 equals to 0 which is nothing but 4q1 equals to 10 minus 2q2 so we have found 4q1 to be equals to 10 minus 2q2 or to be more specific so how do we find this this is by just writing the profit equation to be this way that is if you solve it you will get the value to be profit equals to 10 q1 plus 10 q2 minus 2 q1 square minus 2 q2 square minus 2 q1 q2 minus 500 so you will get the value of pi to be like this now if you differentiate this pi with respect to q1 you'll get the value to be equals to 10 minus 4q1 minus 2q2 equals to 0 so we have found the value after differentiating the pi with respect to q1 to be equals to 10 minus 4q1 minus 2q2 equals to 0 from here we can get the value to be equals to 4q1 equals to 10 minus 2q2 so we have found the value of this to be 4q1 equals to 10 minus 2q2 similarly we can differentiate pi with respect to q2 so if you do so you will get the value to be equals to 10 minus 4q2 sorry for the technical difficulties we are facing so what i'll do is i'll go to incredible pro okay so if you differentiate so we are differentiating pi with respect to q2 so you will get the value to be equals to 10 minus 4q2 minus 2q2 to q1 i'm sorry it will be 10 minus 4q2 minus 2q1 if you equate with it 0 so you will get the value to be equals to 2q1 from here equals to 10 minus 4q1 now if you simply equate this to equation that is by this process say if you write two into ten minus q two equals to ten minus two q two that is if you simply write this this way that is 2 into 10 minus q2 equals to this then we will get the value to be equals to 20 minus 2q2 equals to 10 minus 2q2 now if you solve it you will get the value to be 10 equals to q2 so which is nothing but q2 will be equals to 10 minus 6 so you'll get the value of q2 to be equals to 10 minus 6 now how do we find it so we have found the value of q2 to be 10 minus x now you'll put it in the q1 equation so it will be 10 minus 4 q2 divided by 2 now this is nothing but 10 minus 40 minus 6 divided by 2 so you will get the value to be equals to 20 minus 12 which is 10 minus 6 so we have found the value of q1 to be 10 minus 10 by 6 and q2 to be 10 by 6 so from here we can write that q1 equals to q2 equals to 10 by 6 now if you go to the options that we have 
in the question for question number 8 there is not a single option which says the q1 and q2's values are 10 by 6 so we would conclude that none of the above which is the option d is the right answer for question number 8 so for question number 8 we solved msqe pb 2017 so the answer is option d so now i'll again revise this question there might be some doubt in this question so i'll insert another page so that i can so first what we did we write down the profit equation which is total revenue minus total cost so total revenue is nothing but p into q so we have written down total revenue minus total cost so we have written down the profit function equals to total revenue plus minus total cost so we have found it to be 10 q1 minus plus 10 q2 minus 2 q1 square minus 2 q2 if you remember we solved it minus 2 q1 sorry So we have found it to be 2q1 square to q2 square minus 2q1 q2 equals to minus 500. So we have found the profit equation to be like this. Now from here if you differentiate the profit equation with respect to q1 and then with respect to q2 and then if you equate it with each other you will get the value of q1 to be equals to 10 by 6 and q2 to be equals to 10 by 6 so if you look into the options that we have in the question so there is only op one option which is compatible with it that is the option number d that is none of the above so we would conclude for question number 8 from msqe pb 2017 the right option would be option d so in today's class we solved MSQE PEB 2017 question number 8. So in the consequent subsequent videos we will be solving other questions from this MSQE PEB 2017. So if you have any query or doubt I will be giving you my number which is 9836793076 it is 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is www. showropsersclasses.com there you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will get a lot of other links to crack MSQ PEB entrance exam thank you for watching this video have a nice day ahead